Hi, I'm Dr. Stefan Falsing. Uh, nice to meet all of you. Today we're just going to have a, a short video on what we need to know about early pregnancy losses. First thing that we obviously know that it's uh, devastating um, to have an early pregnancy loss, especially if one has been waiting for this for so long, um, and it can be completely devastating. So a few, few important things to maybe help people that have experienced this is first of all, not to feel alone um, because early pregnancy losses are actually very common in human reproduction. Um, so much so that one can say that almost one out of every two pregnancies conceived on the planet every day will end up in an early pregnancy loss, sad as it may be. The world is not full of people because the human race is good with reproduction. It's actually 8 billion people because we're very good at survival. So if we talk about early pregnancy losses and we just say what are the incidents, the incidence is roughly about 8 to 12 percent of the general population. Second important thing is recurrent pregnancy losses because that is obviously always something that will, will be in the back of your mind if you've had a pregnancy loss. Is what are the likelihood, what is the likelihood of me having another pregnancy loss? And the answer is fortunately only 1 to 2 percent. However, the 1 to 2 percent is just as devastating. Uh, time and time again. So if we look at reasons, possible reasons, there are mainly two reasons. The one reason comes from the embryo and the other reason comes from mom. So I always like to, to equate having a baby to baking a cake. In order to bake a cake you need good ingredients, you need enough, you need to be fresh and then you need a proper oven and a good kitchen and if all those things are in order then the cake will bake and having the baby is exactly the same. So the ingredients that we will need is we will need lots of good quality sperm, lots of good, good quality, preferably if possible, young eggs. And if we say young eggs, women should actually have their families completed between the age of 33 and 35, not later than 35. Because after that, the one ingredient which we cannot reproduce, which is the, the oocyte or the egg, loses its age and therefore um, it loses its ability and its integrity and is one of the main reasons for increased miscarriages. So the other reason is obviously mom, which is the oven. There are many things in the oven um, and we can refer to things like um, autoimmune disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, family history of blood clots for no particular reason, which can be genetic and one can inherit it and therefore that can lead to early miscarriages. And, and obviously poor health as well. So, so those are the main things. It's important to understand that um, it happens, um, that it's, it's not predictable, and it is not preventable. Um, we always hear about people that say, my progesterone is low and therefore I lost the pregnancy. And I can give people reassurance that that's not really the case. The progesterone is low purely because the pregnancy was not viable because the majority of reasons for early pregnancy losses comes from the embryo, as much as 90%. The majority of embryos that humans produce on a daily basis are chromosomally abnormal. Unfortunately, nature is very cruel and very good at this. Nature is very good from the point of view that it understands that abnormal embryos cannot really go to term and lead to abnormal babies. Um, the sad part is that a mom and dad has to experience and go through the pain. So that in short is um, early pregnancy loss. If there's any other questions you would like us to answer, please don't hesitate to give us a shot.